Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here with another custom e-bike build. Um, in this video, I'm gonna go over the bike, what components I used um, to meet what the customer was looking for. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd out, professional e-bike builder, mechanic, nerd, tinkerer. I'm into like reuse, renewable energy stuff like that, solar powered stuff. Yeah, I just, I try to experiment and be a nerd. So if you wanna nerd out with me, you should subscribe. And hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you like this video and then it'll make you want to subscribe. Because if you don't like it, if you subscribe, it's probably going to suck for you. But... It's a good video. Alright guys, let's get into the video. So this one is a Moto Bacan, a Motor Bacon, a hardtail bike. This is an awesome bike. This is like an ideal bike that I would love to convert all day, every day. It's a really, it's a nice bike. It's got carbon fiber handlebars it was just super light it still is pretty light even with the battery and the motor on it um it's got a rock shocks front fork they're 26 by 2.3 inch tires in the rear 26 by two and a half up front got a dropper seat post and yeah these hardtails they're just i love converting these because they're a little bit more straightforward they're they fit these big batteries nice and easy and they're still just super fun. You could turn this into a commuter bike if you want to, or this is a trail worthy bike. All right, so let's get into the components I used. He wanted something powerful. Uh, he wanted something that would be faster than his friend. So we went with the BBS HD motor. It's a thousand watt nominal, um, but it puts out about 1700 watts when it's fully charged. So it, it's plenty powerful. Um, we've got the 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour battery, which is about 900 watt hours. Um, so this thing's got plenty of range. This should give you 30 to 60 miles range. Um, we got a 46 tooth front chain ring and an 11 by 36 tooth cassette in the rear. We added a gear shift sensor um, because it, it is a mid drive. I love those shift sensors. They just cut power just for a minute while it's shifting gears so you're not stripping out the rear cogs or you know breaking your chain. Totally recommend getting a gear shift sensor on any mid drive. For the display, we went with the 500C color display. It's nice, it's color, shows you, pretty much shows you all the information you need. It shows you watts, distance, averages, all that. It's small, it's all inclusive. I really like this display. It's definitely a nice upgrade from the basic black and white display. It's got hydraulic disc brakes on this bike, so we added hydraulic disc brake sensors on it. All right, so let's go ahead and put it through some Johnny Nerd Out tests. Let's see what it does, top speed, and how it does on the hill climb. That does it for this bike. Um, again, I really like this bike. It's a Moto Beacon Fly Pro. And yeah, if you get set your hands on something like this with a dropper post, hydraulic disc brakes, Rock Shocks front fork, a uh, 10 speed cassette in the rear, grab it if you get a chance to. Um, all right, well anyways, hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, hope you like it. And let me know if you have any comments. All right, thanks for nerding out with me guys. See you next video.